okay with turbulence. The first time I heard about that, I couldn't believe my ears. I was going, oh, what was that? Oh, sorry, did we not tell you? Sometimes when you're five miles in the air, the plane will go up and down uncontrollably, and there's nothing the pilot can do about it. <laughs> That's not an acceptable feature. <laughs> if you caught a bus and they went, just so you know, sometimes halfway down the motorway, we might just zigzag in and out of the lanes. There's nothing the driver can do about it. <laughs> You're right with that, aren't you? No! Because I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> and the entertainment's not enough to distract you. Like, the film's fine. The other options. Who are these people on planes watching these single episodes of serial dramas? <laughs> well, series five, episode 16 of Dexter. <laughs> Brilliant, that's exactly where I've got to in my box set. <laughs> well, I missed the first five series and 15 episodes. I'm sure I'll catch up. <laughs> oh, I got on a plane recently. You not believe this. Genuinely, one of the options, series one, episode one of Lost. <laughs> the plane crash drama. <laughs> what are the options? The Buddy Holly story. <laughs> I, I, I'm not an expert, I will admit this, on aviation. Someone asked me the other day, they said, what do you think about this debate over whether Heathrow needs a third runway? And my first reaction was, has Heathrow only got two runways? <laughs> I assume they had loads of them, it's a massive airport. <laughs> that means they've got more WH Smiths than they've got runways. <laughs> I mean, that's not an airport, that's just a news agent with excellent transport links. <laughs> we never went on good holidays as a child. We, we didn't. My, my, my parents, they now, they, they go on pretty rubbish holidays. They, what they do is they go on holiday and then they bring me back gifts of their holiday that I haven't been on. <laughs> I've got a Morocco key ring so that every time I get my keys out, I can go, oh, yeah, I haven't been to Morocco. <laughs> My parents came back from York, they brought me a collectible teaspoon. I was collecting teaspoons <laughs> from places around the UK. Oh, finally, I can combine my twin interests of English heritage and doing heroin. <laughs> oh, I haven't felt this high since I went to Hever Castle. <laughs> Pass me my Wookiee hole torn, OK, and I'll get on with taking these drugs, yeah? <laughs> i tell you the one I hate. When you're going on holiday and other people ask you to get them things. You're going on holiday? Yeah, could you get me a large bottle of vodka? No. <laughs> no, because I'm going on holiday, not doing a big shop. <laughs> oh, could you do me a little favour? Yeah, yeah. Could you get me 4,000 Lambert and Butler? No! <laughs> I'm not a mule. <laughs> they might as well go, are you right to put this cocaine in a condom and shove it up your ass? <laughs> But I always say yes to the things that... Not that, but they're not that, but I always... <laughs> I always say yes, I've got this list of things, I leave it to the last day. My last day is just me running around the city looking for items. It's like I'm in that episode of The Apprentice. <laughs> just running around Milan going, I don't know what a pashmina is! <laughs> Tell you what I hated when I used to work in an office and you'd come back from holiday and people would go, oh, did you get us anything? <laughs> no. The reason I went on holiday is to forget that you existed. 